welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of heavyweights. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Here's our first hitter. From Culiacan, the Hitman Ortiz. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Opening three minutes of this 10-round fight. Teddy, what should we look for early? We've heard so much about his jab. Is it as simple as that? Yeah, it is. For him, it is. I mean, not just from the offensive end, the defensive end, and also a range finder. You know, it gets the distance that he needs to complete everything else. Solid shot. The left hand came in. He goes from damaged goods to defensive goods. Yeah, because right now... Look at that! Teddy, he goes down, and he was on the outside where he doesn't like to be. Where he shouldn't be, and he paid a price. Well, we got a southpaw in the ring tonight going up against a traditional orthodox right-handed fighter. So many times we hear about the... Vargas is stunned, and he is hurt. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? Stand, stand, One, stand. two, three, four, stand up, stand up. five. A crushing blow up top. I don't know if he has enough time to recover. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Vargas is in a bad spot right now. He's been stopped. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Knocked down again. Unreal. Now you got to wonder what the corner's thinking. Are they going to stop this? Not much action as he just ties up. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Ortiz has been hurt by that shot. And now the ref saying, big shot there. How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Ortiz is hurt by a big shot. That's one point. Got out of that last round when he was knocked down. Nice defense. Good block by Vargas. You see how quickly he pulls the trigger on the hook after that block? Big, big shot he just scored with. Throw the scorecards out. Ortiz is down and looks to be out. Hurt by a 
superb hook to the head. Ortiz is cracked. There it is. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked Maddox, the sinker ball. Boy, it went down Three. quick. And round seven comes to an end. Jam, you have to move your head. Watch out for that right up when you come inside, okay? He's trying to time it. Good job, that round. Just keep moving your head. Keep moving. Whatever you want to call them, they're the rounds that you get tested. They're the rounds that separate people, separate ordinary fighters from top fighters. Ortiz is showing us that he is willing to stick with the game plan. But Teddy, that game, how about that left right there? Good flush shot by Ortiz. Oh, and there you go. Well, he's been there before, and now he's there again. He got four. He can't afford to keep going on that floor. You have to wonder when the referee's gonna step in now and stop this. is a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count. By the way, the knockout is the That woke up the fans. Wow, did that wake up the fans. A fight that was a sure...